time to whip off your bra, pour a glass of wine, and join us for this week's Drinks at Six Kit. Hi there, I'm Jack. And I'm Monica. And today we are going to talk to you about the How to Rock Your 40s Kit. Because today we're going to celebrate being 40, even though there's been a lot of stuff out on social media lately that these yeah. youngins they think 50 is old. Have you heard that? Have you seen those crazy videos? I, I don't listen to that. Anyway, plug your ears. Um, we actually happen to think that 40s has been an amazing decade and we're only like most of the way through it. But actually, so far it's been great. I mean, the confidence level, and the energy level, but you know, things have been balancing and I'm getting like, I feel like I'm more at home uh, at 47 than I was at 41. Like I finally caught on to this whole 40s routine. What about you? Yeah, I feel the same. And I like the title of our kit, Rock in Your 40s, because I feel like a rock star in my 40s. Yeah. I did not feel yeah. that way in my 30s or my 20s. No, I didn't have the confidence to to really commit to those years. I no. kind of, I, I think 30s, I was still like trying to hold on to 20 and you know, as soon as I hit 40, 41, I was trying to still be in my late 30s, and now I'm like, I'm in my 40s, and it's an awesome decade. I love 40. And we're in good company in our 40s. We've got some amazing, like, social media, celebrities, like, women entrepreneurs who are also rocking their yeah. 40s and 50s. We're in, we're in great company. Um, speaking of great company, yes. I want to have a toast with our fabulous new martini concoction. Thank you to Age Quencher. Uh, this is a new line I've just discovered, and um, I just found out about it from a friend. So I'm going to be bragging a little bit more about it. But it's a 30-day uh, beauty inner and outer beauty routine, and so I've just started it. So I'm on like day three. So. I don't have a ton to report yet, but I am already noticing like increase in energy and I'm hoping like in another 14 days I have the dewy quench skin. I see it today. Thank you. Please. You're such a good liar. <laughs> um, but anyway, so one of the um, one of the items in the whole beauty regimen is um, hydrate and this is a sugar-free, carb-free, chemical-free um, powder electrolyte. So you pour it into your water bottle and you and it turns this fabulous color. I like the shape of our I, water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> and the great thing is it hydrates at a cellular level. So while we're drinking vodka and dehydrating, hydrate is hydrating us. I think this deserves a special toast. It does. Okay, what would that be? Dirty martini, dirty, dirty bastard. bastard. I wonder who said that? Someone yeah. fabulous. Someone fabulous. A fabulous Leo. <laughs> oh, she is a fabulous yeah, Leo. She, her birthday is the day after mine. Oh, wow. August 21st. Ah, and close to mine. <laughs> we should always yes. change gifts. <laughs> we should. <laughs> so we are talking about Kim Cattrall, and I don't know if you've treated yourself to season one of Sensitive Skin, but it is an amazing series, and I know I am late to the table. I'm probably going to get a bunch of comments saying 1959 of a 20-minute conversation. But I just started watching it. I was Netflixing like crazy like for the last couple of weeks. Um, anyway, it's all about a woman who is entering or in middle age, and she's sort of struggling with that. And I'm not going to give a ton away because I think it's really worth just watching that first initial scene where Kim Cattrall is at the pharmacy counter and she's looking up at the pharmacist and she just wants, um, you know, her hormone replacement therapy. And uh, and there's some scenes through the first season that honestly I know it's like a it's kind of like a dark comedy, but. It just sort of, her and Don McKellar are in it and they, they play this great couple. The dynamic is so interesting, and you know, as someone in this age group and who's been in a marriage for a long time and she says some things that are just really hit me to the core. Um, in one scene she's with um, her dying mother and there's an old woman in the next bed and um, she sort of imagines that this woman is talking to her. And the woman tells her that she's, you know, asks her if she's running away and um, she doesn't think that she's running away and she shows her this, like, gives her this example of an obvious little way that we do run but that we don't see as running. And I thought about that and I thought, I am running away too. I, I don't run to a bathroom, I don't go for a run to get out of my house, but I stay on my phone and I'm always there and it's my way of shutting everything else out. Shutting everybody else out. So, Anyway, I, I love the series and I'm really hoping season two is coming out soon, but um, 
and it should be because it's a couple of years old, but maybe I missed that. But um, I think that to me and to you, and we've discussed this before mm-hmm. in a podcast, Kim Cattrall is like, remember when Jamie Lee Curtis was the scream queen? Yes. And I think Kim Cattrall is the queen of confidence. So it's interesting to see her in this role because she always plays a woman in charge. And then this is a little different role for her and she is doing amazing. Like yeah. you just love her and you totally relate to her through the whole thing. So that's my little rant on awesome women in their 40s. <laughs> exactly. So based on that conversation, I want to I wanna talk about some of the things that we're learning about our 40s as we get close to exiting them. <laughs> but uh, fashion has been a big thing. Um, I, I work in a very young industry of advertising and PR, and I'm surrounded by young, young, young people. And I can't wear what they wear. So we went to our style guru, mm-hmm. Brenda Badome, and asked Brenda for some tips on what women need to keep in mind when they're dressing in their 40s, and they're not what you think they are. Um, and so Brenda was kind enough to pick up this top for me, which was great because it hides, um, okay, pardon me, I hope you don't mind these words, <laughs> but you know when you get this little thing of fat here, it doesn't go away? I call them arm sandwiches. A friend oh of mine calls them goodness. arm vaginas. <laughs> I don't like them. I hate them. Actually, nothing, nothing. Spin class, plank, nothing's working. And I also find that maybe things are slowing down in my metabolism. So getting that flat belly is harder. So Brenda chose this awesome top with a little bit of pleating, but it hides the arm sandwiches. Uh, it doesn't give too much cleavage because I'm not a big cleavage fan and I don't I feel like I'm showing stuff but I'm not showing the stuff I don't want to show yeah so thanks great. Brenda Brenda's <laughs> awesome Brenda um, she she's very very well known for her pants as well mm-hmm. and I always whenever I see her I'm like god doesn't my butt look amazing today you, just have to, you know she does such a good job yeah. at it. But she has this no muffin top rule. So I have those pants. Yeah, so what she does, she her recommendation, and she lives by this in her own designing, is that your uh, rise on your pants should either be just below the bu- belly button or right at the belly button. I like that. And then she does like a little bit of a band mm-hmm. so that everything's just sort of nicely tucked. And you know what? We, we look great, ladies. Like, we're so hard on ourselves. And I think when we are going to the mall and trying to fit into these young girls' clothes, and our bodies are not... We're women now. We're not 18-year-old kids anymore. And you can't go to bootlegger and buy a pair of jeans anymore. We need mm-hmm. designers like Brenda that that build clothing for our bodies. And then all of a sudden you start liking your body because you're looking good in your clothes. So... You try not to fight against it and get back into those clothes that you wore in your teens and 20s because now you have hips, now you've got a beautiful shape, mm-hmm. and celebrate it and, and be confident. And you're in your 40s, so you no longer have to shop in a mall. Yeah, right? that's right. And you can look <laughs> modern and stylish in your own way. Like, that's what Brenda says, too. You in know, just stores. because we're in our 40s and 50s, yeah, yeah, doesn't mean we can't look modern and stylish. And yeah. now, you know, we're career women. Maybe we have a little bit more money to spend. So spend it with somebody that can make you timeless classic pieces that are going to look yeah wonderful. Yeah, She gave us yeah. some uh, good tips to share. Yeah, she so gave us a lot of The rise was a good one. Yeah, the rise was an excellent one. And um, also uh, she talked about the length of the, of the pants. So she said that just above the ankle... Um, to below the ankle for skinny or straight legs, and then you can obviously go longer for a boot cut. And I, right. I still love the boot cut. I love boot cut, but I love yeah. above the ankle because I'm short, so it, ah. it makes my legs look, it like gives me another millimeter look on my legs. It looks That's very great. short, tall. I yeah. love it. <laughs> a short, tall. Yeah, and I think uh, the other thing she says, which I love, is to find your favorite colors. like. Just pop color when you can. Like, wear your black or whatever, but, you know, use, like, wear a fabulous colored scarf or your glam jewels or whatever it is. Yeah. Just pop that color because it brightens everything, brightens your face and uh, yeah, makes I, you more approachable. I think it's a very good way to have a youthful feeling with fashion, you know? Yeah, just don't look yeah. like Mrs. Roper. Right? Why like, not? No moo-moos. Because it's a moo-moo. You, there's a note in there that says don't wear moo-moos or something. 
Or maybe not. I can't, I can't read without my glasses. I'm in my 40s. Anyway, what does it say? Let's <laughs> know. Get to it. So you can't wear items that are too tight or too loose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, and they have to be proportioned for you. Yeah. yeah. So no, we're not doing moo-moos, but... Um, but we're not doing like smidgen nonsense and yeah, we're stuff. Not doing that. Yeah. Susie, she, well, I don't know what the kids are wearing these days. <laughs> I just said <laughs> it. Kids. I said it. The kids. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, but uh, I think we're good in that department. But for sure, when it comes to Mrs. Roper, put on the orange and yellow jewelry and wear it with your turquoise top. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. Yeah. Just don't wear a moon, but <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, I think another thing uh, that I did in my 40s that I didn't do uh, in my 30s or 20s, probably because I think your 20s and 30s, you're trying to figure it all out and see what you like and what suits you. Um, in my 40s, I stuck to a perfume. I decided to make cocoa my perfume. <laughs> you did? Yeah, so I made it my signature fragrance. Love it. It's an well, I've got I love one it. too that I brought. You might want to. Oh, actually, I ripped this off out of your purse when I was I was getting something. I decided You're to be a Chanel, Chanel girl, girl too. Chanel girl. Oh, so a friend of mine. My cocoa. I love it. Mm -hmm. So I am. Uh, I have to smell that one. I don't. Know. Uh, do you like that? I you do like switch. it. I like the bottle. Oh, pretty tight. Okay. So a friend of mine, I said to her, my husband bought me Chance for my birthday. And she goes, it's chance by Chanel. Oh, it's not chance. chance. I, yeah, I'm, I'm with her. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Chanel. It's not chance. chance by Chanel. Take, it's not take a chance on me by Abba. Okay. No. Um, other great. So cute. Other great. <laughs> Chanel. <laughs> Chanel. Chanel. Uh, another great product. Uh, I don't wear a lot of foundation, but I'm starting to, in my 40s, I just noticed that my skin, t um, coloring is is a little more uneven but i hate um well i hate fussing with makeup anyway but um i don't like uh, foundation because it always brings out it accentuates my wrinkles you know you can't see the wrinkles exactly you need glasses so lise watier has this really great foundation it is age proportionate um it's a, what does that say? I can't read that. Lise Watier. <laughs> no, there. Age Control Supreme. <laughs> anyway, it's great because it's really <laughs> nice and light, but it doesn't oh. sit, it doesn't gather in, I'm directly pointing out where you should look for my wrinkles, um, it doesn't sit in those creases, and so when it goes on, it's a nice even um, complexion. Yeah, anyway, that's great. It's a nice product. It has exclusive concentrated Labrador tea extract. Exactly. <laughs> from Labrador tea. Mm -hmm. Velvety. It is and very important. It's paraben free. Yeah, very important. Nice. So yeah, so that's a that's a good one. Um, this, of course, is what we talked about in the beginning. This is the uh, the part of the kit. Probably my favorite part of the age quencher kit is the um, the hydrate. Um, so this was developed, and I don't know if I told you the story. Um, there's a naturopathic doctor in Toronto, mm -hmm. um, Dr. Holly Fennell. She actually created this by accident. She had a patient who had gone through chemo. And um, felt and which put her into early menopause, which happens in with chemo in yeah. women. Um, anyway, and she needed to get some vitality back to like her hairs or her hair, hairs, her hair, her nails, and her skin. So she developed this line, and it it does all that. It hydrates, it rejuvenates, and um, actually just did a little bit of exploring on it because I wanted to, I get bombarded with a lot of beauty products for some of the stuff I do, and you know you can never believe. Um, everything you read about them, not everything is the fountain of youth, but this one is, it doesn't pretend to be that, but it really does, it looks like the results are, are kind of interesting. I'm going to be curious to see what my 30 days on this looks like. Yeah. And I will report back. Excellent. Um, so there are some things about your 40s I think you shouldn't do anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would that be? Like a few that come to my head are change your vocabulary. You're not allowed to say <laughs> bae. Hey oh. bae. Uh-uh. Leave that at yeah. 39. <laughs> not even 39. Just There's a major restriction on that one. Uh, chillaxing. <laughs> nope. Uh, no. Amaze balls. Oh boy. Yeah. No. You are no longer officially allowed <laughs> to sign LOL in your email. I did that paper. too the other day and I was going to retract and then I went, oh. It's well. okay. I figured that I will tell you today <laughs> while we're doing the kit and I'll make it look like I'm telling someone else. So it's really <laughs> passive aggressive. 
And don't be passive aggressive in your 40s. Ask for what you want. <laughs> don't LOL me again. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and get to love. It, yeah, I actually had a friend. You can tell this is like where we can tell how old we are. He, when LOL was becoming a thing, he emailed me and he said, I just, um, a client, another client of his, sent him an email and it, he wrote something and then he wrote LOL. And Jamie said, I don't know why he said lots of love to me. I don't really know him. I'm like, oh my God, the kids, they're saying LOL, laugh out loud, ha ha. But it's so counterintuitive. Laugh out loud on a one-dimensional medium. Yeah. Like, just laugh. Or exactly. ba ha works, or ha 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 works. Yeah, that's true. I'm a big Throw fan of ha 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 ha. Yeah. I also just like, ha! Yeah. I love that. That works. <laughs> Scares me in an email. Yeah. Ooh. Um, anyway, we think your 40s yeah. rock. And if you have tips on things and products and um, ideas for how women can really embrace this awesome decade, send yeah. them in. We want to hear from you. So subscribe to our channel, send them in the comments below, and make sure, if you haven't watched it, get season one of Sensitive Skin. It's good to know what's coming up, but it's also, I think, a great way to just sort of watch it and learn a few lessons and uh, take a cue from the master. Kim exactly. Kim. Anyway, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you for next week's kit. Until then, cheers! cheers.